Hey everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice, and welcome to your October monthly readings. I hope you're doing well. Um, we're doing things differently this month. We're going to do individual signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, or if you're dealing with the Capricorn, this could resonate. Just remember, take the messages as they make sense to you if you feel that they do. Flip the rolls if you have to, and always watch all your placements. And I'm going to need you to do me a favor, Capricorn, and tell me if you want me to keep doing this format for the month, um, for the monthlies, excuse me, because my schedule is really tight and I have to be mindful of where I put my resources. So if this is something that is beneficial for you, it's helpful, you enjoy it, it brings you joy, then it's worth the time and I'm happy to keep doing this uh, for you. All right. So you can like the video and comment and let me know. You can do both. You could share. You could subscribe if you haven't. That will give me some good feedback, okay? All right, let's see what we got going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in October 2024. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower. And the tower talks about unexpected, unplanned events taking place that completely shift the course of something, okay? Um, so expect the unexpected in October. This could be anything, really. Job change, relocation, um, the end of a relationship, the start of a new relationship, uh, surprise proposals, um, surprise pregnancies, babies coming before they're due. I don't know, right? Something where it's not going to plan there is a, usually a speed aspect to the tower um, and definitely an unexpected aspect. Sorry, I just bumped my mic. So let's keep going and see what we've got going on. We have temperance, balance as our first card. So this is union, partnership, compromise, negotiation, meeting, meeting in the middle, weighing up options, thinking about what's healthy in the long run. It's usually an energy of waiting or divine timing. Sagittarius energy could be significant as well. In the challenge position, we have the fool. So this could be impulsive actions being taken at, at this time, okay? Because there could be someone trying to keep things in balance. And the challenge is the other person, the other party, um, is a bit eager, <laughs> too excited. They just want to go. They just want to get going. And there may be some impulsive actions or impulsive, impulsive decisions being made leading to some, some sort of tower, right? And for others of you, um, something you think is going to take longer or a long time is actually going to happen a lot faster. Or you can make something happen faster by you taking charge somehow or taking initiative somehow or taking a chance. Let's see, three of coins in the foundation. And this is an energy of cooperation and collaboration, working within a group, a team, a community. Everyone's working towards the same goal. It's also an energy of growth, expansion, taking something to the next level, multiplying something. In the recent past, we have the six of wands. So for some of you, this is an energy of an unexpected offer that is coming your way for you to lead something, for you to be in charge of something. And it's, it's not something you've applied for. It's not something you were interested in. It's not something you thought you had access to, right? It's something where you're telling yourself, I don't have enough experience for this. I don't qualify for this. I don't have the certifications they're looking for. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not even going to apply. Um, so when they offer you this, or they tell you, hey, you should apply, that completely takes you by surprise. For those of you, again, it's whatever it is, you're being asked to head something, to lead something, to take the lead, to take charge. And the challenge with the fool is you feel like you're not ready for this. You feel immature or not prepared. On the mind, we have the king of wands. Yeah, this is the leader, the entrepreneur, person in charge, person calling the shots. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be significant for you. 
because over here you're oh god sorry i hit my mic i'm still getting used to it guys <laughs> over here you have um you're comfortable part of a team you're par comfortable as part of a group you're comfortable as part of a certain community right where you can just blend in or it's shared responsibility and on the mind what they're talking to you about what is on offer what you're contemplating is uh you being in charge you calling the shots For some of you, this could be uh, a love at first sight situation. But I just get this feeling of you're being chosen for something, selected for something that you don't feel like you deserve or you don't feel like you're ready for or you don't feel like you qualify. So it completely takes you by surprise. In the overall outcome and advice, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful offer. Love offer or an offer that's going to make you happy, that you're going to love. Tears of joy. Five of Coins and the Knight of Cups. Again, don't you're gonna you're gonna you know you're putting yourself down. You're being too critical of yourself. This is where you're looking at the Ace of Cups. The Knight of Cups is also offering the Ace of Cups, so you got the Ace of Cups in twice. Okay, you got Temperance here again with two cups. So you have the opportunity to team up, partner up, collaborate, sign something. But you feel and think, five of pentacles, that you're not good enough for it. You're not prepared enough for it. Uh, you don't have enough to offer. You don't have enough to embrace this, to accept this, to pursue this. Or you're telling yourself, I'm not even going to go for this because I, I'm not ready. I'm not going to offer the best that I can offer. I don't have enough money to do this, to go for this, to apply, to submit the paperwork. Capricorn, be mindful of what you're thinking. Under the tower, we have the star, okay? You're, someone sees you as the star, six of wands. This could also be fame, popularity, being in the spotlight, going viral, and then your world is turned upside down because you're inundated with these offers, opportunities. And you're going, I don't know what's happening. Things are moving too fast. I don't know what to do. I'm not prepared for this. I don't have the knowledge and the experience to know how to handle this. But just be mindful, okay, of what it is you're telling yourself because don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to lead. Don't be afraid to embrace whatever is being offered to you, to accept whatever is being presented to you. Okay, you are ready. Otherwise, they wouldn't be offering you this. Someone sees you as the king of wands. You see yourself as the three of coins and the fool. I'm comfortable blending in with other people. I'm not ready enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not experienced enough. I'm naive. I'm a, just a rookie. I'm just a beginner. And someone else is viewing you and very impressed with you and going, you should be in charge. You should be doing this. You should be telling us what to do. Okay, so it's really important really important to open your mind, open your heart, and embrace whatever this is for you. Because it's going to be something that's coming in out of the blue. It's something you never thought you had access to in the first place, like at all. And it's going to be offered to you. So don't hold yourself back. All right? Think big. Go for this. All right? So... Capricorn, that's what I have for you. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope it helps. Let me know. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Let me know about the format. Have a fantastic month, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.